guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to show you a whole new lot of things you can cook in your air fryer. I made another one of these videos a little while ago where I showed you 15 things that you can cook in your air fryer and it went down really, really well. So I thought I would show you some more. I got this air fryer about two or three months ago now and I literally use it at least six times a week. I have cut down the use of my oven so much since having this air fryer and I absolutely love it. In my other video, which I will link down below in my description box, I have showed you how to clean this air fryer, but I did learn that you can actually put both the um, cage bit and the outer cage in the dishwasher as well. I have got the big 5.5 litre air fryer, which is the bigger of the air fryers that you can get. And I would highly recommend this size. So I'm going to link one down below in my description box. So I'm just going to take you through everything that I have been cooking in my air fryer recently. And I'm also going to tell you the timings and the temperature setting that you need to set everything on to get them cooked to perfection. So with all that said, don't forget to subscribe and let's get straight on into this video. Right, so in my air fryer, I have got a chicken. This is a small chicken. Um, I tried this before with a larger chicken, but it was too big. So if you can see here, the chicken doesn't come over the basket. You want to make sure that when you put your chicken in, it's not going to go over the basket, otherwise it won't be able to slide in. So on the top of my chicken, I have just put some um, salt and a bit of paprika. I haven't put any um, oil or anything on them. So what I'm going to do is pop my chicken into the air fryer on the chicken setting, which is 182 degrees centigrade, and that is for 20 minutes. 20 minutes isn't enough to cook a whole chicken, so I will put it in there on the chicken setting twice, so it'll be cooking for 40 minutes in total. So the chicken has just come out. I just wanted to show you how perfectly it has been cooked. It's got some moisture with it as well, so it's not dry at all. I'm just going to leave it to rest for a couple of moments and then it's ready to dish up. Right, so today I'm going to be cooking steak in the air fryer. So I'm just cooking one because it's actually only me for dinner tonight. So this is what I'm having, but as you can see, there's lots and lots of space around it. So I could fit two big steaks in here. This steak is actually enormous. I don't think the camera is doing it justice. So I've generously put salt on both sides of the steak and I'm going to pop it into the air fryer onto the steak setting, which is 182 degrees for eight minutes. As you can see, this has cooked my steak perfectly. I would say this is medium rarely cooked. So if you want a little bit more, add a minute or two. If you want it cooked a little bit less, then I would just take off a minute or two as well. Just whatever suits you. But for me, the steak setting for eight minutes is perfect. So here I have made my own fish in breadcrumbs. So what I did to make these was I um, just got some frozen hake fillets and then I defrosted them. I put them into some flour, then into some beaten up egg, back into the flour, back into the egg, and then I coated them in some breadcrumbs. That was just some bread that was kind of going a little bit stale. I whizzed it up in my whizzer and then I just coated the fish in that as well. So I'm going to pop all five of these fish fillets into my air fryer on the fish setting, which is 204 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. This, it cooks them perfectly and just look how nice and crispy and golden brown they come out. Right, so today I'm going to be cooking some halloumi. So I've just sliced this up and popped it straight into my air fryer. I haven't put anything else on top of it. I'm going to put this halloumi into my air fryer on the prawn setting, which is 182 degrees centigrade for eight minutes. This is a great way if you're entertaining when you're cooking it. Instead of having to cook it on your stove the whole time, you just pop it in here and after eight minutes, your halloumi is perfect and ready to serve to your guests. Right, so today I'm going to be cooking some pork belly in the air fryer. So I am putting my pork belly in on 182 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes. When it comes out, it is so nice and crispy on the outside. And to me, it tastes just as nice as it does when I cook it in the oven for a long time. And like I said, because pork belly sometimes I feel like is a bit of a faff, by cooking it in the air fryer just means you can have it a little bit more often than you normally would. Right, so I'm going to make some homemade burgers now. They're gonna be mint and lamb burgers. So I've just got some lamb mints here. 
I'm going to use some mint sauce and then I've also got some fresh mint from the garden that I've diced up finely and then I'm going to combine it all with an egg here and in here looks a bit gross because I've actually put in some salt and pepper already so I'm just going to put everything into this bowl mix it all together with my hands and then form them into burger shapes and pop them straight into my air fryer. I always put my burgers into the air fryer on 182 degrees for eight minutes. This is the steak setting and I find however many burgers I put in at once they always cook really really well and they come out so nice and juicy as well. Right, today I'm going to be making some homemade calzone pizzas in the air fryer. So I'm going to make quite a few, which is why I've got two lots of pizza dough. So I'll just slice my pizza dough in half. So one pizza dough in here will make two pizzas. And then I will kind of do a bit of a concoction in each one. I'll probably add some tomato puree in each. And then for the kids, probably just cheese and ham. But then in mine and Chris's, I'll also add some sun-dried tomatoes, some olives. And then I will brush them with some egg, like a, I'll beat up an egg and brush them with some egg on top so they get nice and golden brown. So I just pop them into my air fryer. It's been a, such a hot day today when I made these. So the pizza dough just became so um, sort of sticky really quickly, which is why they look a little bit funny today. Um, but I'm going to pop these into my air fryer on the pizza setting, which is 166 degrees centigrade. But usually it's set for seven minutes. But because these are thicker, I'm going to up the minutes to 10 minutes for these. Right, so now I'm going to make some garlic prawns in the air fryer. So I have just got like a kebab skewer and I've put three prawns on each skewer and then I've got a couple of leftovers. And then what I've done here is I've melted some butter with garlic crushed in here, some chili and also a little bit of coriander as well. So I'm just literally going to baste them with my garlic sauce and then i'm going to pop them into the air fryer on the prawn setting which is 182 degrees centigrade for eight minutes right so now i'm going to make some garlic mushrooms in the air fryer so i have just got some of my garlic and butter mixture from my prawns left over so I'm literally just going to pour this onto my um, mushrooms and then I'm also going to pop my mushrooms into the air fryer on the prawn setting as well which again is 182 degrees centigrade for eight minutes. I'm going to put some jacket potatoes in the air fryer now. So I've just washed them and then I've cut a little cross in each of the potatoes. I haven't put anything on top of them. I haven't put any oil or anything. They're just being cooked naked. Um, I will put them in my air fryer on the chip setting, which is 204 degrees, but it's usually for 18 minutes, but I'm going to up it to 25 minutes for these jacket potatoes. And here they are straight out of the air fryer. I don't know if you can hear how crispy these are, but they've got yummy, crispy skin. And they look so delicious. They do look so delicious, don't they? JB's here waiting for his... Oh, look. Got nice, fluffy jacket potatoes ready in 25 minutes from scratch. Jamie's most favourite jacket potato ready. Jacket potato, cheese, and a bit of ham on the side. <laughs> Right, so while I am on jacket potatoes, I wanted to show you um, another way of doing them as well. I still cook my jacket potatoes in exactly the same way, um, but I'm going to make loaded potatoes out of these. So with the cooked jacket potatoes, I just cut them in half like that. You can cook them in half as well if you want to, and it takes a little bit less time in the air fryer. And then I just scoop out the inside, and what I have done in this bowl is I have got some soft cheese, some ham and some ordinary cheese. And then I have saved some ordinary cheese here to go on the top. So like I said, I'm going to make some loaded potatoes. So I'm going to scoop out the insides of my potatoes. And then I'm going to just mash all of the insides together along with the ham and cheese. And then I'm going to put them back into the potato skins and cook them in the air fryer again on the chip setting, just literally for five minutes to make all the cheese melt on top of the um, potatoes. And that's just another way that you can make your potatoes in the air fryer. 
Right, so today I am making some butternut squash chips. This is a great alternative to make instead of having like potato or sweet potato, and they're really, really delicious as well. So what I'm gonna do is top and tail my butternut squash, and then I peel it as well. You don't have to, but I just prefer having it peeled. And then what I do is cut it in half, and then slice each half into thin slices, and then I slice each slice into a chip shape, just like this, and then I pop them in the air fryer, on the chip setting which is 204 degrees for 18 minutes and they come out perfect every single time. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be definitely doing some more of these videos as I get to grips with my air fry even more and try out different things. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!